Yo, what's good? It's your boy Bike with another video. Today, I'm going to be answering the question, can you actually draw on a Chromebook? So when Wildcom and XP Pen and other pen tablet manufacturers announced that they will be supporting Chrome OS, I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is going to open the door up for more artists to come into digital art, simply because it's going to be a cheaper option. Now you can get a Chromebook right now for around a hundred bucks. And then you pair that with a graphics tablet, $30, $20 graphics tablet, and you in the game for under $200. So I wanted to really test this out for myself before I go and recommend this uh, to beginning artists or artists who want to get into digital art. So first of all, the setup, of course you need a Chromebook and then you need a compatible graphics tablet or display tablet. And I wanna say most of these new tablets that just came out within a year, they should be uh, Chrome OS compatible. But don't take my word for it, always read the fine print. Now all we have to do is plug the tablet into the Chromebook and you need no type of drivers. You don't need any of that. You just, it's, it's just plug and play. And last but not least, of course, you're gonna need a, some type of art, art application. So I started out with Ibis Paint and everything seemed to be going pretty good until about six seconds in. And then I found out that the computer or either the art software would not stop registering my stylus even though my stylus wasn't even touching the tablet and so what would happen is i would just have continuous lines continuous lines so i'm thinking okay maybe it's a bug or something maybe it glitched out let me just exit the program you can't exit the program because the computer or whatever is registering constantly registering your stylus so you can't you can't press anything can't do anything only thing you can do is hit that power button and restart the whole thing so i turn it back on and it does the same exact thing and i do this multiple times so then i'm thinking i wonder if other people are having this same exact problem and then i simply do a good old google search and i find out that yes a lot of people are having the same problems so then i'm thinking okay maybe it's just the program let me switch to sketchbook pro and see how that does so with sketchbook pro it was acting the same way that ibis paint was acting for the first three restarts of the chromebook and then after that it got a little bit better but once you're in that drawing program you can't get out of it it won't let you exit you still have to restart the whole computer now this could be because this is an older Chromebook, but it's kind of hard to tell because so many people are having so many problems drawing on Chrome OS. So drawing on a Chromebook using a Julian graphics tablet is over with. It's a wrap. It don't work. So next up, I tried the Wildcom 1. So I hooked it on up and it performed a lot better. I did not see that, you know, it constantly reading um, my pen. I didn't, I, I didn't see that. But on different spots on the screen, it doesn't read my stylus at all. It just won't mark there. Or if I seem like if I go too fast, it'll just stop for a few seconds it'll stop registering the the pen i've been trying to draw on this thing for about two days now and it has given me nothing but problems now if you still are interested in drawing on a chromebook i do think that the all-in-one touchscreen chromebook option has less problems than just buying a chromebook then getting the tablet and drawing on it like that so 
To make this short, drawing on a Chromebook is a no-go. Man, I, I really wanted drawing on a Chromebook to, to actually work because this would have been the perfect option for new people who are just getting into digital art, uh, people who want to just you know try it out see how it feels or whatever that would have been the perfect option you could have spent like 150 120 dollars and you would have been in the game but anyway i hope y'all got some type of value out of this video today if y'all did hit that like button. nah 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 i know y'all got some value out of this video hit that like button three times share this video to all your folks hit that subscribe button unsubscribe and then subscribe again youtube domination starts now believe that